having looked into Fragment uh, somewhat, the purpose of this feature has been to record delays. And so this is recording delays using Microsoft Project. Let's say we're pouring foundations. The first step is to mark the scenario, how much of the particular item is complete. If nothing is complete, that's fine too. But let's say that we were already started the foundation work. We had spent a day, so you can notice here I went to under the task ribbon to mark on track and I chose the pull down and update and I also specify that we've spent a day and so one day is complete and we probably have what nine days left and so you can see the shaded in area on foundations now indicating that we've we've completed our first day The second item is to insert the fragment or the delay item. What is that delay item? Well, let's say the concrete truck broke or it rained for three days, something like that. Whatever the scenario is, what you would actually do is you click on foundations and insert another task above it and you can right click on number 18 foundations for instance and choose insert task and then just type in what that task is now in this case I, I typed in delay task uh, the, what are we doing? the one thing that we want to do is we want to specify that it is a manually scheduled task. And this is the one time where we go from auto schedule sequential. Delays are manual. They just happen on the date that they happen. So we specify that it's manual. We specify the estimated duration on it. We think it's going to be three days before the truck's fixed or three days of rain. And we also specify the start date on it. So we'll give it, so we were working on the foundation. This was, this happened on August 3rd or whatever. And you can see it up here on the screen. And here I'm going to increase the duration to three days. I think it's going to be three full working days of rain or three full working days before the truck is fixed. So the next step is to make this delay task a predecessor of the completion of the foundation. So we have to fix the truck before we can get back on track and finish these foundations. So basically what we'll do is we'll click on delay task, hold the control key down and then click on foundations and link them. You can specify pre predecessors other ways but that's just one easy way to do it. And you can see the delay task now will have to be done before the continuation of those foundations. I'm just marking it, changing, right clicking and changing the color, the formatting, the bar, tag, bar color to a gold just so that you can see it clearly here. So that's the delay task and the concrete foundations. Now if this delay task, oh the second next thing you'd like to do is you'd like to add a note explaining what this delay task is. Typically you don't remember a year later if you're working on a large project, even a couple months later, what that particular de delay was. So it's a good practice to add in a note explaining what actually happened. In this case, I'm going to simply double click on delay task or click on notes and just enter in, you know, the truck broke. How many days delay or three days delay of rain, for instance. Now, we estimated three days, but let's say it takes five days and that's not uncommon where you think a delay is going to be three days or promised. You're going to be back on back online working on this in three days and then it turns into five days you can see the impact here on the screen so we change the three to five days and click enter and what happens is 
is that the concrete, the completion of those foundations gets pushed out another couple of days because of it. So yes, so the reason we're using this manually scheduled task and, and this estimated duration with a start date and an, est and an estimated duration is simply because oftentimes when we find out about a delay, we don't know how long it's actually going to take. And you can see that the impact on the foundations and the rest of the project has moved out. Now one other way we can do this is we can insert the finish variance column and what that column will do is it's going to tell us exactly what the impact on the critical path is. And so on the foundations themselves, they're going to be five days longer. If we turn on the summary task under format and also pull up the summary task, we can see what the duration is on the whole project. So hopefully that answers your questions on or that that is the information that you were looking for on the fragment. Again, it was a pleasure speaking with you today, and I hope you have a lovely weekend, and thank you.